Hello to anyone watching. So if you're on the first time tuning in, um, I am live streaming a commission, and uh, what I normally do is I uh, I draw, I kind of just mark the page into four quadrants. Um, it kind of helps me when I'm trying to come up with a composition. Which I'm going to be trying to do. I'm trying to do right now. Got a Captain America pre-commission for a new Comic Con. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing. I never really worked these out beforehand. I try and uh, I try and wing it to be honest. But if anyone is tuning in for the first time. Essentially, feel free to type in the chat because it gives me something to do while I'm drawing. Um, you could ask questions or abuse me or whatever. It's all fine. So let me just slice. Turn off the lot of blind it is. Well, hey Mark, I don't really know what I'm doing. Yeah, that should just be. Uh, that's that's going on my headstone. I can't believe I ate the whole thing. Hey Harry, how's it going? Uh, I'm just gonna go with the regular old cap. I was asked for Captain America, so I figured I'd go with the uh, standard. Like reasonably modern, like, you know, classic, classically modern, put it that way. I was going to do a uh, Batman today because I figured, well, I know how to do Batman. That'll be an easier one. But um, I have eight left to do in two weeks. And um, I figured I'd leave one of the easier ones uh, till later, probably, when I'm going to need, like, you know, I'm going to need to probably rely on a. Uh, how do I put it? Trying to squeeze the difficult ones in at the end is probably not going to go well for me, so um. I guess this is a fairly standard pose, but I don't know. I'm trying to go, go with a, you know, heroic standing cap rather than. I did a, I did a cap pre commission a commission a while ago when he was like in an action pose, but I'm. You know, going for something a little bit more um, statuesque.
Not the one with all the seams. Uh, no, I think not. When I was drawing Cap uh, in the Deadpool arc I did, the Good, the Bad and the Ugly, they had just kind of introduced essentially like the movie costume for Cap. Um, and uh, I hated it. Well, I didn't hate it. You would think of Jerome Pena designed it, and he looked made it look amazing, but um, I did not want to draw it. So I kind of um, I came up with a simpler, more simplified version of it for the uh, for the arc, and it worked really well actually. I thought, I thought anyway. Should can you even see that? So it's always weird every time I, every time I uh, do one of these, the light always seems to blind out what I'm drawing. Is that better? I can try. Let's just turn it off. Okay, yeah, that seemed to do it. Okay, there's probably going to be more shadows as a result, so sorry about that. Mm. Where the midpoint was much clearer. I don't know what to do for, like, it's, I guess maybe the camera keeps readjusting. It's a nice camera, so it actually kind of readjusts, but it's readjusting in the wrong way. Doing that again! That's motherfucking thing. That seems to do it. Okay. I'll keep going. I'll, find, I'll, I'll adjust again if I need to. Oh, and Terry, thanks. Uh, sorry, I saw your comment about uh, liking the cap in that arc. I liked it too. I liked it too. I don't get to draw a cat much, but uh, I do like him. That was the fun thing about that arc, getting to one draw. With, well, because I, I don't know if you've probably heard me say elsewhere, I am. Um, I had zero interest in drawing and um, Deadpool at the time. But, uh. It's not too big, I wonder. But, uh, the, 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 the appealing thing about drawing uh, that arc was, uh. Oh, I could draw Wolverine and Captain America. Cool. Inhuman Jed Jedi Mouse. Hey, uh, Inhuman or Jedi Mouse? I don't think uh, I'm planning to get your cover of Dead Man Rolling tomorrow. Oh, cool! Thanks, man. It's one of my favorite ones, actually. Uh, weirdly, the last two are kind of I think my favorite ones. Circles here. Okay, yes, three, one, two, three, and then the star. Um, and thanks for tuning in. I don't, I don't think you've tuned in on this stream before, have you? So this is red. This is white. I'm gonna do another red one. 
Try to do the shield first, get it out of the way. Come on, lads, where's the next one? Because it's such a technical thing, like I want to get it done first, and then get loose of the rest. Do 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 do. Mark, I am Chuck C. You can't free hand perfect circle. Yeah, yeah. You think at this stage? No, I can't. I try sometimes, and it goes <laughs> terribly. Um, yeah, never goes well. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm just gonna ink this first. And Harry, what's my favorite cap story? Huh. That's a good question. Uh, shit, geez, I'm having a hard time thinking of them. I really like that Paul Jenkins J. Lee one back in the noughties. The kind of growing up um, in Ireland, Cap was never really a character I was that invested in. Um, I remember the name of the uh, the arc, but yeah, there was a, I think there was a Jenkins. Oh wait, am I mixing that up with the humans? Correct me. Was there a Paul Jenkins and J. V. Cap story? And then I remember there was a John Cassidy one around then too, and I was a big John Cassidy fan because of the planetary. But um, trying to make something more recent. Um, I really like the Remender stuff. Was I playing? Kind of. I was like, I was liking the uh, beginning of the Secret Wars storyline, but I kind of didn't stick with it. Um, I was buying, I was buying the Remender Imminent and stuff. Um, oh, I'm kind of having a bit of a brain fart. How about yourself? What any of your favourite ones? J D. Right. Okay, I was right. A Brubeck. <laughs> Baker and Perkins, of course. <laughs> the most obvious one. Yeah, I am. Um, yeah, I, I know Mike, and I was talking to him about that arc, actually. For sake, shall we? Can't remember that one. Um, yeah, no, I have I have the omnibus of the Brew Baker, um, Perkins, and um, Epting, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that, that that's just amazing. That is, like, absolute watermark. Uh, perfect uh, cap stuff. Oh dear, I can't believe I embarrassed myself like that. Oh, hey Panda, how's it going? It's a favorite cap story. Oh, I don't know, maybe the best one I can't think of. Such a maroon. I'm liking those uh, models you're posting, by the way, uh, Mark. Thank you. 
are doing the Wolverine or the Deadpool, <laughs> the Deadpool uh, story, trying to figure out a way to draw his armor. And because it was so complicated, finding a way to simplify it so that I could draw it every page and still make it not simplifying it so much where I kind of blame it. Um, Do, do, do. Oh, Mark, my connection is garbage at the moment. The stream keeps st sh stuttering, so it looks like I have to go. Oh, sorry, man. I'll catch you later. Uh, Harry, speaking of Brubaker's Run, Winter Soldiers, only in 2004, and it's not hard to think of Cap without them. That's a very good point. Not a lot of storylines leave a mark the way that that one did. I do like the kind of more slightly more militarized look of Cap. So I'm definitely leaning more towards that. Which is similar to what I did in the uh, uh, Deadpool story. What did I draw back then? Let me just Google. This is a dark costume. Oh, I forgot I did. I did the pocket one once. Uh, you know what, I might uh, lean slightly towards that one. Let's get a better shot of that one. Yeah, do I like? That's good. You know, I think I'm going to draw the one from my arc. Thank you very much.
Although I'm going to give him the wings on his head because I like those a lot. <clears throat> oh, I really loved Chris Somney's Captain America Garrick as well. The Wade Somney one. That was great. Look at that. It's great. I really like that one. Then put Chris Somney in the and I'll uh, read the crap out of it. This cap's sad. He's sad. He's been in war. He's sad about it. Yeah, the slightly more kind of militarized version of his suit is is, is like more fun to draw, personally. To, to Pascal E. Knapp. Hey, Pas Pascal. Uh, hi, Tickle, thanks for streaming. Any chance you can reveal who the next tape deck guest will be? Um, I can. Um, I actually revealed it the last uh, stream because uh, somebody asked when I would do one with Stephen Mooney. Um, I normally really reveal it in the newsletter, but um, I get chatty on this whole thing, don't I? But uh, Stephen has, um, Stephen is a <coughs> friend of mine, and um, he has a new Black Widow book out at the moment. So uh, I, d I, I wanted to do one with him to kind of push that book a bit. And also, we're both kind of we both kind of like got into podcasts around the same time, and um, we we're both big fans of uh, Adam and Joe, the Adam and Joe podcast. So it was kind of fun to do one. Not in that format, but like, yeah, you'll, you'll see. It's, it's, um, I can't promise you it's an interesting one, but, uh, it's, it's a funny one. But, uh, thanks for, I assume you've been listening to some of the episodes, so thanks if you have. And thanks to anybody else here who's listened to them. It's, uh, you no, know, it's, it's not a huge, massive thing or anything, but it's, they're fun to do, so. It's good to know people are listening. It's weird, like, because uh, with uh, social media and stuff, you're kind of used to instant feedback. And with both the newsletter and um, the podcast, I have no idea if anyone's even liking it. Oh, sorry, I didn't see that one, uh, Harry. If you were given the chance to do a cap story, who would be your villain? Interesting. I know, that's a tough one. I've just think on that one for a while. Um, I might try make one, I think. Um, hmm. Yeah, I might try make one. Um, a lot of the older, old school cat villains are just, I mean, I just never found them particularly interesting. 
uh, as a kid. Um, guys, can you see? Can you see that? Okay. Every time I look up, the yeah, it keeps it keeps adjusting. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, a lot of the old school ones are kind of naff to me, but I mean, you know, somebody could make could make them interesting. But um, I think it would be fun to make new ones. I think there's, I think Marvel tends to um, make a lot of their villains heroes, so. Uh, it's always good to make a new villain if you can. But uh, I'm sorry, that's a boring answer. And yes, I'm gonna do the no feet thing. Not because I don't like drawing feet, but because I just think I make this more atmospheric. out of my head and I don't think they end up the best and I think um I see a battlefield. Sometimes I'll just Google No, not that video game. Um uh, I'll look at some photos just to kind of give me a bit of a inspiration kick. I know they draw rubble and stuff, but um, yeah, what I'm what I'm putting in here isn't very good, so I'm gonna try to something better. So this, this is dead air. Come on, Jovi. tuning in. I like your work, by the way. Uh, if anyone's uh, look at the chat, there's something called Bridget, Bridget Connell. Uh, check out her work. See, so I just googled uh, photos from the uh, Warzone photography. It's a nice excuse to draw some rubble. I like me some rubble. Uh, Bridget, uh, for the record, if you want to ask any questions or just chat away, feel free because it gives me something to do when I draw because otherwise I get a bit, I'll probably get a bit sleepy. Um, Yeah, it keeps me kind of, keeps my brain moving while I'm drawing this stuff. And otherwise then I'm going to start asking you questions, and that's just embarrassing. Embarrassing that I'm so desperate to talk to somebody after just ask people questions. That's good. As you can see, I'm, I'm pretty rough with pencils, I, um, I don't 
don't really like penciling, to be honest. I prefer inking, but um, this gets me to where I want to go. So I'll kind of figure out my form and suggest some texture. to figure it all out pencil wise like where everything is where it all goes. I remember trying to kind of work a lot looser um, and barely pencil anything because uh, some really works for some people and it was such a mess. Uh, I was disgusted for myself. What are, what are you working on, Bridget? Um, or Bridget, sorry. I'm fucking saying Bridget by uh, Abbott. Do you have a new comic out or something? Or you have to forgive me, I, I, I know I follow you on the tweeters, but um, I lose track. Uh, do, do, uh, we're working on an expansion for a card game you did. Oh, cool. That sounds like a lot of work. Uh, what? Am I reading anything right now? Um, yeah, yes, I am. Um, not as much as I'd like. Um, I bought a few books that I took on holiday recently. I didn't even get to read the bloody things. But, um, I kind of tend to read more comics because uh, it's easier to kind of take a break and read like a comic and then um, then get back to work. Um, I read a couple of graphic novels while I was on holiday. I read um, Bags or a story thereof, which was adapted from a short story by Patrick McHale, by a guy I know called Gavin Fullerton. That was really good, I liked that. Uh, it's about this man who, uh, who's he's lost his dog and he's looking for his dog, and um, it's very upsetting because the guy can't find his dog, and I was getting very emotionally invested in that. And I recently also read um, the first collection of Jason Aaron uh, and Esther Rubik's Thor, uh, and it was fantastic. Um, even when it kind of gets into all the, there's lots of stuff with like elves and dark elves and stuff, and that's stuff I normally couldn't give a toss about. Um, but it was very good. And let's see, I picked up some comics yesterday. What did I get? Ooh, what did I get? I got Criminal. Criminal's my favorite comic. Uh, Daredevil, Daredevil's one of my favorite comics. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, Hellboy, uh, House of X, Powers of X, Black Science, um, Conan, Runaways, uh, what else did I get? 
Those are the first ones. Oh, uh, Outer Darkness, the Skybound book I really like, and Silver Surfer, I think. Yeah, well, I say I bought, I bought them. I haven't read them yet, but. Oh, hopefully, I'll get to them soon. To take a break because you're listening to Stephen King's new book that has given her how to break. Um, do you listen to a lot of um, audio books when you work? Because I can't do that. I get sleepy, hilariously. Um, I find that I'm thinking too much about uh, it. happens with audio books, it happens even with reading um, fiction books. I have a very hard time because my brain starts to try and um, think of the images. And then I realise I'm three pages, four pages, five pages in, and I don't have a fucking clue what's going on because my brain's still trying to come up with that image. Which is very frustrating. But uh, it doesn't happen with uh, non-fiction books, so I tend to read more non-fiction books. Or at least I try to, uh, given the time. What was that about at the moment? I have uh, a book on the... The IRA I'm reading, and one on the CIA, and kind of like all that crime spy stuff. Sort of with covers, when I'm doing covers, I'll plan the crap out of everything. But commissions, I kind of just figure it out as I go. I was looking at other people's commissions there recently, and I said some people would do all these really great storytelling ones, but um, I just couldn't be arsed. Um, I saved that for actual covers and stuff, you know. When doing commissions, it's just like, what's a cool composition, what's a cool pose, draw a character, have fun, the end. So I'm going to figure out a lot of this one thinking. Again. Mm -hmm. I'm the same. I can't listen to them when I pencil while I'm thinking and coloring. Yeah, um, yeah, I know what you mean. I'm the same. Um, when it's penciling, it's stuff that I don't have to look at at all. Um, or I don't have to concentrate on. So I'll listen to, um, I listen to like political debates and stuff like that. I listen to a lot of that type of stuff, but um. When I'm doing layouts, uh, I can't listen to anything. It has to be uh, instrumental music. Uh, it's the same with writing, really. If I'm doing any writing, it has to just be like background noise. Okay. In a sense, I feel like proficiency in time is a little bit more important with commissions. Yeah, actually, Bridget, that's a very good point. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I say this now that's sounding like a wanker. No, I'll just sound like a wanker. I don't really care about commissions. Um, they're fun to do. They're they're in they're an indulgence. Um. Like, I wouldn't get to draw a cap otherwise, and drawing cap is fun, but um, when I have actual, you know, comics to draw, um, it's hard to justify doing these. But with, like, going to New York Comic Con and stuff, it's, uh, it's very helpful to be able to kind of, like, just get a bit of money together by doing these, uh, and then I can afford to go to shows and stuff like that. Um, I'm just trying to figure this out here. There's a pattern to this that I have in my head. 
Um, is that it? Yeah, that is it. Um, what was I saying? So yeah, um, and you know, drawing commissions is not my job. Uh, so it is some people's job, and that's perfectly fine. But um, I want to draw. I want to tell stories, and I can do that with covers, um, more so with actual comics. But um, I, I have no interest in doing it with commissions. Um, I'm not invested in it. I, I prefer do. I prefer tell. I prefer do my own original book story than do commissions. But there is the demand for them. People seem to. People seem to want them. You crazy, you crazy weirdos watching this seem to want them. But um, so I'm. You know, basically my my thinking on it is if I do a show, I'm willing to kind of like take take the time to do some of these because people like them. They're happy, and I get to to cover my. Expenses for going to a show it should be straight actually. Um, but effectively, yeah, they're 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 not my job, and uh, I don't wanna I don't wanna end up being one of those commission artists who are always just trying to. Well, I just won't finish that sentence because I actually didn't know what I was saying there. But uh, I, yeah, but I don't. I want to be telling stories, not drawing um, commissions all the time. So I can justify the the expense of time. I think you probably get the you, you probably understand like how valuable time is, um, but I, yeah, I can justify it by doing it in the way I'm doing it. I think I'm just talking. I'm just rambling now. Sorry. Okay, so what time is it now? I've been doing this for 40 minutes and I've finished penciling, so move on to inking. I try and give myself uh, just more of a... I try to do these in two hours. If anyone else is watching, feel free to chirp in. Poor Bridget's on her own here. Do you do... Conventions, Bridget, or is it just commissions from home? Also, apologies, my head tends to pop in on the side when I'm inking. I get really up close to my drawing sometimes, so sorry if you've seen the ear now and then. Googled Bomber. I sound like an old man trying to read all these avatars, guys. Can't you just have normal names? And um, I was watching and showing my son who's interested in drawing. Oh, cool. Uh, um, I'll watch my language. Well, I mean, uh, if your son's interested in drawing, that's really cool. That's uh, exactly how I started. And then, um, if this all looks kind of scary to him, just can I let him know that uh, I've been doing this a long time and I've had a lot of practice. There's professional athletes. Who train and train and train, and this is kind of, it's kind of similar with this. Is the more you do it, the better you get it. Um, I didn't just start magically drawing like this.
Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, Wadley. How's it going? Yeah, Buffy is well. Where is she? She's upstairs sleeping. Um, I had some duvets out when somebody was staying over, and I left them out, and then Buffy, my cat, um, for those who are you haven't tuned in before, um, she has come and deered them, and has just gotten cat hair all over them, so now I'm going to have to clean them all over again. I believe there's a saved clip on this Twitch page where you can see Buffy uh, pop in on the stream. She's very cute, so I recommend it. Pass that along. Cool. I was trying to make that point because I think some people see somebody drawing, you know, at a professional level, and they think that it's all just like magic, and I could never do that. But um, uh, yeah, it's a it's a myth. And, uh, just try to make that point where I can. I'm a hero, basically. So you can see, I kind of just do all the broad lines. In a brush pen. Sorry, I got distracted by that song. Um. Yeah, I'll do all the kind of broader figure work. Yeah, I'll just kind of block in a lot of the figure on the main aspects. And then some little more bits here and there, little bits of embellishment. The cap's armor, I find, is, is kind of more interesting to suggest it rather than always show it. Just like the music it takes time to be your best. Absolutely, Google Bomber. Yeah, no one's bad, good at something straight away. Well, barely anybody. To whip out the uh, dip pen down a bit. Uh, Bridget, love that the background so far that's going so good. I hope so. Um, my plan is to do all the line work and then I'll go in with some grey wash and I'll probably push this mid ground right back and leave this 
white for the most part, maybe a secondary background probably or something like that. That's what I'm thinking anyway. But it helped, I looked up a photo of like, you know, um, uh, war rubble, which helped because I was just, was just going to put a massive rock in there and another rock there, two big rocks, which would have been a terrible background. Compositionally, it's still the same. But just as an as a drawing, it would have just looked shite. Um, sorry, language. Um, crap. I don't know. Not good. It would have looked not good. So um, yeah, it was worth just doing a little little Google. Yes, Queen. Yes. I can't really pull that off, Bridget. Yes, Queen just doesn't sound good with an Irish accent. Yes, Queen. No, I, I even feel comfortable with that. Uh, you will never hear an Irish person say yes, Queen. But I appreciate it. to get more in. Sorry, one second. Should be here. Ah, bollocks, where did I leave the... Oh, wait, there it is. Sorry, my attempt at not swearing is not going well. Wadley, just getting in the daily workout while watching one of my favorite artists draw one of my favorite characters. Not a bad day so far. Well, I've seen what you look like, Wadley. I think I'd be getting the better end of the deal if I saw you working out. I'm having a hard time opening this. There we go. So a bit of a workout opening this. <laughs> oh god, okay, glad, glad I didn't uh, get you in trouble. Do do do, where is, where's me oak? Oh, there it is. <laughs> well, Bridget, you uh, you fooled me quite well. I will. Well, I'm just going to read out whatever I say here. So, if any of you want to say something uh, controversial, just put it in the chat there, and I will. Uh, I will just say it without any thought for my own sake. Stupid face keeps getting the frame.
Lol, says Bridget. See, I'll just read whatever. I'll see if you guys are saying something. I'll chat away and it's a little bit more entertaining than just uh, watching me draw. Or I don't know, I guess it's entertaining for you guys. I just can't imagine how. Especially you, Bridget. You can draw. No, I, I don't know. Anyone here uh, going to New York Comic Con? Oddly, no New York Comic Con for me, maybe some year in the future. Fair enough, man. You, I mean, you, you get to go to a few, so can't do them all, I guess. What's your job, actually, uh, Wadley? Do 
Sorry, I keep calling you Wadley. It's just your avatar is what's in my head. So I think of your name, <clears throat> which is I know David. It just pops over for some reason. Yeah, I don't think I've ever asked what your job is. Like, what one of you have? like drawing rubble because it's um, you just be a bit more gestural with it and fun with mark making. Going to Ace Con in Chicago and that will be it for a while unfortunately. It's next month. Hey I didn't I've never heard of it. But you're fairly close to Chicago aren't you? Maybe some more uh, Doable. Mm -hmm. Ace is more celebrity focused. They do have artists, but not, but not much. A spotlight, from what I can tell, it'll be my first time going. I see. Fair enough. Is is there anybody in particular you're looking to meet? Tom Holland. Is Tom Holland again? Oh, right. Oh, cool. And uh, Chris Hemsworth, Brie Larson, Jake Gennethal are all going to be there. So your your twin brother, Jake Gennethal, will be there. Gotcha. That's pretty cool, man. Those are all very cool people. I can't say I've really ever done the, well, I have and I haven't. I haven't done, like, comic celebrity stuff. I have gone to, um, I have gotten, like, signatures from Star Trek actors. But I haven't, um, I've never done the photo op thing. It kind of gets blocked up sometimes after a while, all the ink gets a bit sticky. Now, oh, stab myself. Okay, I might do 
this just over an hour. Um, yeah, I'd say two hours should do this. See how much more boring this is when people don't ask questions.
Uh, Google Mara, are you going to colour this or does this say black and white? Um, this says black and white, um, Google Mara. There's a couple of uh, commissions I took that I'm going to do some watercolour work on, but um, I, I think I need to build up to that. I haven't done commissions in a while, so I um, I want to get a bit more comfortable drawing them again before I start taking the extra leap and um, trying out watercolour. In general, it's just staying colour anyway, but um, I am going to try. I've been meaning to try some more watercolour lately, so I will be doing that. Although I should say, um, regarding black and white, I will be doing a little bit of grey wash on it as well. Which should happen pretty soon. I'm mm -hmm. nearly done. Uh, So I'm just checking some reference here.
see some more detail here. Elements, and then I will rub out a lot of this pencil. Sorry, the yolk. Okay. So nobody here is going to New York now. We're on this New York Comic Con pre commission, no one's going there. You disgust me. Spirits is wobbly. See, at least he's making the effort to go somewhere. is on the inking John. Touch up some bits and bobs here.
to Alchemist too. Out of curiosity, do you like any manga or anime? Um, I don't, to be honest. Um, uh, Death Alchemist. Um, it's not so funny saying your names. Um, uh, it's more out of like other myths I have total ignorance. Um, it's not that that, that I think it would suck. Just um, my generation. Um, growing up in Ireland, I would say I didn't have a lot of um, exposure to it. Um, I saw Ghost in the Shell when I was a kid, um, but I didn't have a whole lot of access to it. Um, so a lot of it just kind of flew me by, uh, or flew by me, if you will. But like, there's lots of people, say, you know, 10 years younger than me who are big into it. Irish people, that is. Um, not to say that nobody my age is, it's just it, it would just be less common, I think, anyway, if I'm wrong. But, um, yeah, I'm just uh, not really familiar with it. I, I've heard of some stuff, but I just haven't had a chance to read. I want to try out um, 20th Century Boys, I hear that's great. Um, yeah. Yeah, so. so. Um, yeah, I'm not against it or anything, just, uh, it's kind of like if you're, you know, if you're, I know jazz, I know what jazz music is, but I wouldn't understand it, and I also wouldn't know where to start if I wanted to get into it. So something like that, kind of with manga. Or anime. Uh, well, I'll, be, I'll be watching announcements and be looking at all the convention sketches. Yeah, well, I mean, you can, you can do it all from home, admittedly. I was hoping my next book would be announced in New York, but there is no talk of it yet, so God knows. It's the book I've been drawing for the last while. So, maybe eventually people will find out about it. Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm just letting this, uh, there's lots of bits of wet ink. I, I'm going to start rubbing out all the ink, and I just want to give it a minute to, um, Dry off. Okay, it's definitely dry down here, right? So. Once this is rubbed out, I'm going to take some ink wash and I'm going to start doing just do some tone work. Again, I want to give this piece like a half hour's work and then and leave it out. Well, I mean, I'll do it till it's finished. Your boys, I read another thing that is Pluto. Oh, yeah, I've heard that's great too. Yeah, Again, I've heard of a lot of that stuff, but I um, just haven't actually read it. But I'm also not against reading it, I think it's just so different from everything else. I wouldn't, I, I don't really know where to start. Other than I'd say, I, I'd pro I think I'll probably give 20th Century Boys a, a go, though they're all very long as well.
shown in are pretty long, others are short, Pluto for example has eight volumes. Oof! Yeah, I'm just kind of um aiming a bit shorter the books I'm reading at the moment. But that's not to say I wouldn't give it a go by any means. I had a girlfriend show me some anime before and um, I I uh, absolutely hated it and I thought it was fucking terrible. But um but that's not to say all anime is. Because she showed me the wrong one. Okay, wash. So, for those who don't know, I do grey washes and all the stuff I do. Just taking some water, and I'll take a bit of um, water mixed with Indian, a little bit of Indian ink, and uh, I'll take this bad boy. Oh, wait, this my old one. I take this bad boy, and uh, I just you know, kind of effectively paint some uh, grey tones. Some people these days go with more with um, uh, they go with Copic markers and stuff, but uh, it's just not really my thing. Uh, did that because that's what did uh, she show me? Um, I can't remember to be honest. It was just mental. Like it made no sense to me at all. Um, it wasn't the just narratively it was all over the place and everyone was just mad. I don't know. I, I can't remember. Nor do I want to remember to be honest. The less I think of that, the better. I'm just going to shed a little bit more light on this, if that's okay. Yes. See, I'm just going to do like a overall grey wash stuff here. suggesting a further background behind.
Yeah, getting there. Well, Pascal, I gotta run. Thanks for streaming, Declan. No problem, man. Thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in. I hope uh, I hope it was uh, enjoyable.
using his legs a bit just to force the highlights up a bit.
Very nearly there now. I think she's getting there. Thank you. 
Mm. Okay, I'm gonna be wrapping this up. I don't think there's black spotty in this one, but I think it still works. Heavy solid black skin is a feel a little more dusty than green. Or I'm just trying to justify. lines for a bit more texture or I can find the fuzzy thing where I leave it. Oh here it is. It's okay, I found it. Relax guys.
Okay, I think uh, oh, it's two hours on the dot. I think I'm done. So here's a closer look if you want to see. So if it's, uh, There we go. That's the that's my cap done. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna call it. Well, that's called a night because I still have a cover to take tonight. Ugh. Um, but thanks for for tuning in, guys, and keeping me company. Uh, for the most part, you guys quieted up a bit and made it very very sleepy for me. Um, but yeah, thanks for uh, tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be streaming again. I don't know exactly when. It depends when I can. Make it work. Maybe even tomorrow? Maybe tomorrow. I'm going to try to do a day where I get two of them done. Um, but yeah, I have seven more to do over the next two weeks. So I'm going to be popping on here on and off. I wish it was more regular and I could give you proper times, but um, it just doesn't really. This has to be secondary to my work. So uh, yeah, I'll catch you next time. Uh, thanks, guys.